Hey folks, and welcome to this demonstration of my Belova Accutron Astronaut, which is a watch from 1968. So Belova started life in 1875 as a jeweller, and uh, by the 50s they were producing watches, including the most accurate watches that were available at the time, these Accutron range, and they're um, driven by a tuning fork movement. Uh, so there's a tuning fork inside the watch, oscillating about 300 times a second, and it's actually moving the second hand 300 times a second, which is why the sweep is so very, very smooth. And if you hold it up to your ear, you can hear a, a humming noise. Um, so this is, was called the Astronaut because um, NASA were using this uh, this watch uh, and the movement inside it in spacecraft, in clocks in spacecraft and panel clocks in the Apollo program. The, um, the pilots of the X-15 rocket plane were also issued with one of these watches and uh, they were used on some of the uh, Mercury missions as well. And uh, the A-12 pilots were issued with these too. Uh, so that the A-12 was the forerunners of the SR-71 Blackbird. And the reason that this watch was issued was because uh, it was it maintained its accuracy over a wide range of G-loadings and temperatures as well. Uh, so yes, uh, that's why it's got the astronaut name. And uh, it's also got this GMT hand, uh, so you can track a uh, second time zone. And you do that because you can't actually adjust the the um, hand independently of the hour hand. Um, so you can do that by rotating the bezel to track a different time zone. And you say, speaking of which, how do you adjust the, um, the time on this? Because one thing you might notice is there's no crown. And uh, on the back of the watch here, you've got this. Uh, this is effectively the crown. It's mounted on the flash, uh, flush on the back. And you flip that bit up, and that's basically putting it in setting mode. And you can using that. Oops, I flipped it back down. Is it the right side? Yes. Yeah, so using that, you can then adjust it. Pop it back in like that. So it sits nice and flush on the wrist. So a nice little feature that. Um, and the other thing I really like about this watch is the bracelet. So this is a very period uh, expanding metal bracelet. And you can see most of it doesn't expand. It's just, just this lower portion. And that, together with the fact that when it's closed, there's still a gap between the links that are next to the skin. So it doesn't pull the hairs out of your arm, which is a revelation for an uh, expanding strap for someone, for me. I've, all the ones I've ever had before have been terrible hair pullers but this one uh, it's a very nicely engineered strap indeed you can't even see the springs um, inside there they're all hidden um, it's, it's very comfortable to wear complete convert to that anyway that's it the Belova Accutron Astronaut from 1968 or this one's from 1968 um, hope you enjoyed watching this and see you soon cheerio